I wake up every day at precisely 8.42 a.m. I lie in my bed for an additional two minutes as I regain consciousness, then hop in the shower. I lather my hair with Garnier Fructi Shampoo for 14 seconds before rinsing for 5. This allows for a proper cleansing of the scalp. I'm out the door by 9.06 and begin my walk down 5th Avenue. Deadlines and appointments run my life. I stay confined within the cycle of my everyday routine because it's safe. I know what to expect and I more or less know what's going to happen to me at any given moment. My therapist diagnosed me with chronophobia, in other words, the fear of time. I disagree with his opinion. I just hate the uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen next. What most people don't seem to realize is that time is an infinite continuum. It poses an unlimited quantity of parallel universes. Let's say that I woke up at 8.43 a.m. rather than 8.42. Now my entire day is a set a minute behind. Of course, with my routine being planned out, I would just deduct a minute from my lathering and be properly compensated for a missed minute. However, most people would not take the responsibility for the implications they're having on the cause and effect chain of life. Every individual should be held accountable for the outcomes of everyday events. Before you know it, that minute was the reason someone lost their life due to an unexpected car accident as they cross the street. My only desire is to finally make enough money where I can move someplace remotely pleasant and not need to worry about having to do anything. My seclusion will evaporate the presence of time and keep me out of harm's way. So Steve, I can call you Steve, right? How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing fine. So Steve, tell me, what got you so interested in fortune teller? I scheduled this meeting because I'm, I, I need you to do something for me. I, I want you to tell me everything noteworthy that is going to happen to me in my life. I, I don't want to worry about what I can't control anymore. Well, Steve, all I can say is you came to the right place. Now let me see. In two months and approximately three days, I see you getting the promotion of your career. Also, in the near future, I see you having this 
budding relationship with this cute co-worker of yours. Wow. I, I like what I'm hearing. But wait. There seems to be more. In approximately two years and four months, your father would die from losing a six-month battle against leukemia. As for your mother, I'm afraid that she died from getting hit by a drunk driver on her way back from dinner with a friend. As for you, you- Jesus Christ, I, I don't want to hear that. I, I'm getting out of here. Steve, Steve, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Steve, I had to admit to you, I was lying this entire time. You see, time is a mystery. No one is sure what time really is. It's something that helps generate hope and progress. It makes us appreciate all this time that we have left on this earth. Because Steve, we don't know how much time we have left. We can live and we can die today, tomorrow, probably the next hour. But all I can really tell you, Steve, is that you just have to live in the moment. 